In 2012, the Kennebecase Watershed Restoration Committee completed ATV aquatic corridor enhancement work on a tributary to Cedar Camp Brook in what is known locally as Turkey Hollow. This work included moving a section of the ATV trail out of the stream and creating a separation between the two. In 2013, with support from the New Brunswick Wildlife Trust Fund and the Sussex Valley ATV Club, the KWRC expanded the project. One of the first steps to the project was transporting all the material to the site. This proved to be labor intensive, but we had strong volunteer support from the Sussex Valley ATV Club, which made the job a lot easier. Once the material was on site, we started construction by creating trenches for our log footing. Once the logs were in place, we placed our stringers in position. We used four 2 by 6 by 8 foot stringers placed 16 inches apart. We then marked the log, removed the stringer temporarily, and cut a notch for it to sit in. You can see in the video how we cut the notch. It's not high tech, but it worked. With the chainsaw, we made several cuts across the log, each spaced half an inch apart or so. With about four cuts per stringer, we could then use a screwdriver to pop out the needed wood and create the notch. Each stringer was then placed back into the notch and toenailed into place. It was important to keep it simple, as it was a need to keep the tools required to a minimal due to the site isolation. Once the stringers were securely in place, we could start placing our decking. For this, we used 2x8x6 rough cut hemlock. We spaced the deck boards about 3 quarters of an inch apart to prevent water from sitting on the deck and rotting our wood. We nailed it down using 4 inch spiral Ardox nails, which will provide a better hold and resist weathering. To make the transition from the deck to the ground smoother, we sloped the last section to the natural train and placed gravel at the junction. To finish the decking off, we added a rail for safety. The width of the deck from inside rail to inside rail is 6 feet. This will allow for easy passage for both large ATVs and side-by-sides. The goal of the project is to keep the ATVs and side-by-sides out of the floodplain at this location. This will prevent further erosion of the trail and enhance the rider's overall enjoyment. The project will also improve the natural ecology of the area. The Kennebecasis Watershed Restoration Committee cannot carry out projects such as this without public engagement and support. Organizations such as the New Brunswick Wildlife Trust Fund, the Sussex Fish and Game Association, the Sussex Valley ATV Club, Sussex Rental, the Government of Canada, and the Government of New Brunswick allow us to continue to improve our great watershed. We want to thank them all for their support.